Hello, my name is Abdulia. I'm 66 years old. I'm a peer educator for ACR Health, the syringe, syringe exchange program. I was addicted to heroin, cooking, alcohol. I've been clean since 1991. I've been drug free. Like me, I don't drink no more. I got a new addiction. My new addiction is coffee. I drink a lot of coffee. I lost a lot when I was uh, in my addiction because it's a sickness. Somebody introduced me to cocaine and telling me that if I sell, sell a little bit, I can make some money. But in the process, you know, um, they're fixing and putting together whatever. They said, but you have to taste it to make sure it's good. And that's how my addiction started. I, I was so addicted that I have to have a drink in the morning. And I have to have my drugs in the morning before I can function. My family never knew because I, I kept it so cool, you know. What stopped me? When I went to jail because of my addiction. If I didn't get arrested, I would be there. You know, when I went to jail, my daughter was uh, five years old and my son was six, you know. And I said, well, three, almost four years without seeing my kid, something, I had to do something. So that's why I started going to school. And, and I'm glad, you know, I went to college. I graduated from college when I went to jail. Uh, I worked with a, a drug counselor and um, help people. So, and I haven't stopped doing that. I love my clients, I got a lot of clients. They call me my Madula. Even the people in the office call me my Madula. Uh, some of the clients, they, they, they're like my, my own child. They're sick, they need help, you know, and there's a lot of stigma out there. We need to educate people about drug addiction, you know. We got a clinic, and the reason we give them clean needles because to protect them, because if you reuse and reuse the needle, you're gonna get sick, you're gonna get sores, you're gonna get hepatitis C, you, it's a lot of stuff that come with that. I cook for my clients, oh yes, I, a, a client talk to me and they say they're hungry, I don't give them no money, but I tell them, give me an hour. If I got something, I say, wait right here, I come back, I stay to my house and I make them a sandwich, and I bring them a sandwich because they can be my own kid, or my own grandson, or my brother, or my sister. I was homeless, and nobody gave me a hand. Nobody, I will never forget that. Doing the summer, I know where they are, it's scattered a little bit under the bridges. My husband and I, we give cases of waters, and we distribute it to them, because I collect blankets and I give it to my clients. No, this is not a, um, part of my job, but it is part of my conscience, you know? So I take it upon myself to do what I do because I love people. And some of them people, their lives depend on us. Every time we work up, we have to make the decision, we're gonna stay clean today. Let's stay clean today, tomorrow is another day. And it's a repeat every day, every day. May you mind, you're gonna be clean today. Please, when you see somebody out there, don't judge the person. You know, it's a story um, behind the story. Um, I believe it was God's plan to save my life. And the only way was for me to go to jail. And this is my story.